Welcome back guys to Crafty Fox MC. Today we're going to be building the Department of Defense DODX caboose. And this is a caboose used on nuclear waste trains, which I have right over here. If you just watched my other video, I made a video on the buffer flat car, which you put in the front and the back of this um, nuclear flask train. And right at the back, we also need a caboose. So this is actually a blue caboose based on the real design and in the front I have our ST70 ACE so you can recreate this whole entire train now with this tutorial. I base this off DODX Nano 5. We have nice FRA striping, some banners here and then glass panes here in the middle. And look at all the detail underneath. And here we have the handbrakes which are present on both sides. The orange light up here, a couple of cut lever. Uh, doors inside, windows and the two sides are going to be different per side. And also here's like the cab inside. I have to make it stick out. And we got chimney here. We got, I have no idea what this thing is. But there's definitely a lot of like antenna detail on the top of it. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this build. It's actually a commission by Fat Rock. So thanks to him for making this video possible. If you guys want to commission a build for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started. All right, so first off, let's grab some materials. We're going to take out a dark oak slab and a fence gate, lapis azuli, dark oak trap door, a polished blackstone brick block, as well as oak fence gate. All right, first off, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here, dark oak slab on top, and then a lapis azuli right behind that. Then we'll add in two blocks tall of oak fence gates. Then we'll go down here, add in oak trap door. I'm gonna make it two blocks long. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate, skip two blocks, add another one there. And in between we'll add in two dark oak slabs. Then we'll add in a gray terracotta sides of the fence gates and hoppers on the sides of that. And then inside we'll add in two dark oak fence gates here. And then we'll add in back to back upside down polished blackstone brick, I mean not brick, it's just polished blackstone stairs like that. And then the inside we'll add in polished blackstone brick blocks and we're going to make this go all the way across the end of the bogey here. And we'll add in four blocks wide like that. Then on the side of this we'll add in three polished deep slate slabs. Then dark oak signs to the sides of that. Then we'll add a polished blackstone brick slab here. And then a smooth quartz slab dangling down here. Oak slab underneath. And then a warp slab here and upside down warp stairs like that. Then we'll take lapis azuli and we'll add in two blocks wide here. Two blocks here and then we'll make this part three blocks tall. As well as this part three blocks tall. And then we'll add in a blue glass pane here behind lapis azuli. And warp slab at the top of the bottom of that. The inside we'll add in bedrock block. Two blocks tall and if you can't use that you can use a polished deep slate block. Then we'll add in oak fence three blocks tall here with a warp slab on top. Then we're gonna make this slab so it's 10 blocks long, just like that. Behind we'll add in lapis azuli. And then we'll add a black concrete. This is gonna be a two by two. And then another lapis azuli. And then we'll add in five warp slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, like that. Then to the side of this, we'll add in warp slab, two on the bottom and two at the top. And then blue glass panes so that there's two blocks tall on um, both sides. And then four blocks long right at the bottom of this. Underneath, actually behind it, we'll add in lapazui four blocks wide. And we'll make it three blocks tall. Just so it looks like that. Then right over here we'll add in three blocks tall of oak fence. Just like that. Then we'll go here, we'll add a lapis lazuli at the corner. And a blue banner hanging down. Then over here we'll add in two warp slabs like so. And then right above this hopper we'll add in three blocks tall of lapis lazuli. And we'll add a yellow glass pane bottom of it. Alright, next up we'll go right above this bedrock here, add a smooth stone slab. And we'll make it three blocks along that way. 
lapis lazuli, and then an acacia button to the end. And then we'll add in smooth stone slabs all alongside it, like that. Then we'll go down here, add, add in two dark oak fence gates, then two polished black stone brick slabs on top of it. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna copy um, everything that we did in the front end, like this part here. Don't copy the middle part, just copy this part and build it the other way on the other side. All right, once you have built the other side, it should be looking like this. Now let's uh, wrap this guy up. Uh, so basically, let's go over here to the end. We'll add in a light uh, gray stained glass there, warp trap door on top. Other side, do the same thing. Then we'll add a light gray carpet, two blocks wide here, and then iron trap door, two blocks wide there. And the middle part, we'll add a lapis lead, I guess two blocks like that. And then snow layer, we'll add it three layers tall, one, two, three, just like so. The middle part, smooth stone slab, two blocks. And then a warp slab in the front and the back of it like that. And we'll add a daylight detector in the front of the back of the snow. I'm gonna turn that blue. Then we'll add in the middle a lapis lazuli. Uh, we'll make it a two by two, uh, just like that. And then we'll extend the smooth stone slab all the way across to meet up with that. And then for the other side, we'll add in again two by two lapis lazuli, extend the smooth stone slab uh, in like that. Well, it's this part right there. And we'll go over here in this section, add a smooth stone slab here. Skip a block, add another one like that. And skip a block, add another one. Fill that front part in like so. Then we'll go here, add a chain. Skip a block, chain, skip block, chain. Strings in between, and then light gray carpets. And we're gonna make that go all the way across. Just like that. Then we'll go right over here, add a skeleton skull. A birch button like that. All right, so once we're done with that, we're gonna copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. All right, once you have both halves, it should be looking like this. Then we're gonna add in bedrock over here in this corner, black glass block in this corner, then this side, lapis lazuli, and the other side's gonna be a bedrock block. All right, now we're gonna make the FRA striping. So it's really easy. Just take a yellow banner, blue dye, and we're gonna make it go across the half of one side, put it back in, and we're gonna make it go across like one third the other side. So we have a thin line here. And then we'll make a border around it like this. That's pretty much it, like that. All right, so once we have this, we're just gonna place it on the end so it's closest to the edge, so like that. And for the other side, you just do it the other way so that's closer to the end. And we're gonna do that to uh, the other side as well here. Place it towards the edge, basically. All right, so once you have that, very nice. All right, next up, we'll add in lapis lazuli and make it two blocks tall here. Then polish andesites in the front and the back of this and then bedrock block um, underneath it. And then we'll add in smooth quartz slabs, two blocks wide like that. And then lapis lazulis, I'm gonna add that all the way behind these slabs and in this gap here. Over here, we'll fill this part in lapis lazuli then we'll add in polished deep slate slabs, uh, four blocks long, and then dark oak signs, and this is gonna go across. Skip a block here, yellow glass pane, and then a warp button right over here, dark oak sign right there, and we'll add a warp slab right here. Fill this part in with lapis lazuli, just like that. Then we'll go on the other side and we'll add in uh, two polished deep slate slabs. So one, two, dark oak signs inside of that. And then two um, deep slate brick stairs like this. And then a row of lapis lazuli cross like that. And then right here, we'll add a yellow glass pane, bedrock on top. And then a uh, polish andesite slab here. And lapis lazuli, that's going to be uh, on the inside of that. And lapis lazuli all the way across for this wall, as well as this part here. And then this is going to be a dark oak sign like that. 
another warp slab right there. Then we'll add a birch bun right here, another one right here, stone bun here. Then over here, we'll fill this in, lapazuli, a warp button, and then a birch button underneath. And down here, we'll add in two blocks long, deep slate brick slab like that. Then we'll go off to the other side. And we'll add a stone button here, birch button underneath this button, birch button on the end like that. Then we'll go on the edge and we'll add a warp slab on the left. Polish diorite slab on the right. Other side we'll do the same thing. Then we'll go over here and we'll add a polish and a side slab right here. Skip a block, punch in a hole and move this slab down block. Add a diary wall, blue glass pane here and a turtle egg on top of it like so. On the other side, we're going to have a chain standing upright. That. Then this side, we'll add in move stone slab inside. We'll gap area, and we'll actually have to fill in this part. Fill in this middle part in. So it's like a solid block next to these slabs. Just like that. And then think this part, we'll just fill that in like that. Then we'll add an andesite wall, two blocks tall here. And an andesite slab on top of that. Then we'll add in a birch fence here and a turtle egg top of that. The other side we'll add an end rod here, like so. Alright, next up on the edge we'll add a lapis lazuli here. And then oak fence, two blocks tall. And then upside down warp stairs here. Warp slab on top. Warp trap door behind it, close it up. And then dark oak trap door here, close it up. Other side, we're gonna repeat the same thing, just the other way around, I guess. We'll add a lapis lazuli, and then two blocks tall, oak fence, upside down, warp stairs, warp slab, warp trap door, close that up. A dark oak uh, trap door here, close that up. Then we'll add a dark oak sign here, a birch button above here, warp button right there. Then the other side, we're going to add in a birch button here and another one at the very edge, like that. Alright, next up, let's go down here. And we'll add in a deep slate brick stairs here. A polished blackstone brick wall. Then we'll add in three gray concretes. A dark oak fence gate here. Polished blackstone brick slab right above it. And polished blackstone brick slab all the way across the other edge side like that and then uh, this dark oak trap door underneath these three gray concretes like that and then polished blackstone brick slabs in between connecting those two areas up then we'll add in a gray concrete here and then polished blackstone brick um, slab here dark oak fence gate open that up like that and then the other side we'll add in two gray concretes one two then two polished blackstone brick slabs. And then the other side we'll add a polished blackstone stairs and then upside down polished and then polished blackstone brick slabs all the way across for the rest of it. And we're actually gonna make this polished blackstone brick slab go locked down. So hangs down like that. And then we'll go off to the end here. Apparently this um trap door should be opened up towards the fence. Like a little wall here, so my bad on that part. I'll just open up the other way like that. And we'll also go on this side and punch in two blocks wide here. Add in lapazuli inside and then smooth cord slab on the outside part. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the DODX caboose. Lots of details in this. This tutorial took longer than I expected, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks again to Fat Rock for commissioning this build. If you guys want to commission a build for yourself, check out the link in the description. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.